Katie and for today's video I'm going to be doing something kind of new and it's a bullet journal video. I've recently started bullet journaling and I really love it. I started like a week ago, I think, yeah, a week ago and I think it's super fun and I hope that I can actually stick with my bullet journal for the entire year. If you want to see more bullet journal videos, give us a big thumbs up and comment down below what kind of bullet journal videos you want to see. If you want to see a plan with me, I think that's what they're called, or more flip throughs or supply stuff. I don't really know. Just let me know down below in the comments. Also, don't forget to check out all my social media. It's always down below. And hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon so you can get notifications for every time that I upload a new video. So since I started bullet journaling about a week ago, I don't really have fancy supplies or anything like that, but I do have stuff that I like to use in my bullet journal. Um, this is my journal. It is from Michaels and it's this gray color. It's part of their Artist Loft, like Michaels brand collection. And it was $5, which I think is super nice. I think this is like the regular bullet journal size. It's an A5 and has dotted paper. Um, it was definitely a lot cheaper than a Loistrom, which is why I got it. And I kind of looked at reviews and stuff, and I heard that it's super similar to that notebook. And I thought I'd try it out since I don't really know if I'll be sticking with this. I hopefully will, but I don't know how well it's going to work. Um, I decided to get a cheap one that really won't matter that much if I don't use it. So now for the rest of the video, I'm going to do a close-up so you can actually see the pages of my bullet journal. And I'll be talking about a lot of the supplies that I am using. And I will definitely link all the supplies down below in the description. So make sure to check that out to see exactly what I'm using, like the specific things. And let's just get into the close-up. For supplies, I use all of these markers and pens and just like everything in here, I'll go into what I have. So the supplies that I mainly use are these Crayola Super Tips markers. I got these from Amazon for just a couple of bucks. I think it was a pack of 20 for $5 or $3. Then I use these Stabilo um, markers and they're in the point four. Again, I got these from Amazon for super cheap. I will sometimes use these and they're the Pilot Juice pens in point three eight. Um, I don't really use them that often just because I like using my markers more, but I do have them. I also have this gold pen that again, I don't use that often, but I do like to use it sometimes. Then the pen I use the most is this one and it's the Pilot G2 pen in point three eight. And I got this from Office Max or something like that in a pack of like five. Then, of course, I use these. It's just a pencil, an eraser, and a whiteout because I do make a lot of mistakes and I like to sketch things out first. Sorry for my dog in the back, but the next things that I use are these Pilot Friction um, highlighters and I really, really like these. The last marker that I use is this one and it's the Tombow Dual Brush Pen in black. So it has the brush on one side and the marker on the other side. I will also use tape and a glue stick if I need to glue something down or tape anything down into my journal. And I'll use a ruler. This is just a really small one so I can make straight lines and make sure that everything's equal. And lastly, I just use this watercolor set. And again, it's like Michael's Artist Loft brand and it was super cheap and I really, really love using this. So the front page of my bullet journal is blank. And then the next pages are just the index, which I definitely don't need to use because they're really not that important to me. Then I have my first page and just says 2018 and it has some fireworks on it. Also, I just want to mention this real quick, but a difference between the Loistrom journal and this Michaels one is that the pages on this are white. And I think I prefer that just because if I mess up, I can just put white paper on top of it and white out. Won't stand out as much because of course it's white paper. But anyways, my second page is my 2018 overview and I just have all of the months written down with the date. Then my next page is kind of random. I don't really like these two, 
but it's my video ideas page and my doodles page. Um, as you can see, I started coloring in a few things, um, but I definitely haven't finished this and I want to fill this side up. Then I have a blank page and my February cover page, title page. I don't really know um, the terminology. And when you flip the page, you get my expense tracker and my water tracker. I just been tracking down things that I've been spending my money on, and I've been tracking the water that I've been drinking. I forgot to fill out this day, but I'll definitely do that. Usually, I drink about like four bottles to three bottles of water. Sometimes more. It just depends. Recently, it's just only been three or four bottles, but I'm glad I've been keeping up with drinking water. Then I have my first February weekly spread. I think that's what it's called. This was the 11th to the 17th, and now today's the 18th, so it's over. But I kind of just put down all the important things that are happening. I have like birthdays and bridal shower, gymnastics, homework, meets, and I had a Valentine's Day. I had this little heart sticker and kind of the monthly overview and some notes right here. Then I glued the next two pages down together, as you can see right here, just because I didn't like it. But I have my brain dump and my goals page. My brain dump, I just have work on doodles and this little rose that I was trying out. And then my goals, I just have some goals that I want to accomplish in February. Um, the first one says finish February with all A's. Um, I push myself at gymnastics, have a more positive attitude, drive more because I just got my permit and I definitely don't drive as much as I should be. Then my next pages, I have my wish list. A couple things are pastel Tombos, um, new washing tape, planning with K stickers, and then the other colors of the friction highlighters. Then on here I have my bullet journal themes idea and this little drawing that I have. A couple ideas that I have are like the peach theme, peacock feathers, stars for October. I kind of put the month that I maybe thought that I would have the theme in. I'm not really sure exactly, but I thought it'd be nice to have a couple ideas down. Then I skipped a page because I want to put my weekly spread that I'm going to do today on here. Um, and the next page just has a picture of me and my dog. Um, I just thought it'd be fun to incorporate her because I do love her. And I thought this was a super cute picture. And I just added all these doodles around. Then in the back of my bullet journal, I have more pages. So I have a pen test right here, as you can kind of see. But I didn't like how it looked, so I glued these two pages down. And I did the pen test on this page. So I have my Pilot Pen, my Tombow, my Crayola Super Tips, my Stabilo, my Pilot Juice, and my Pilot Friction. And this is how it looks. Um, it doesn't really have any ghosting for me. And when you flip through pages, of course, you can see through. But when the pages are shut, you can't really see anything and there's no bleed on any of these. Then I have just tons of scribbles from different markers so I know what color everything looks like because these two colors, their caps look like the opposite color, so this color looks like this cap and this color looks like this cap, which I find is really weird and I think that this will be super helpful. And again, the um, markers don't really go through that much, or at least it doesn't bother me. Um, I think it kind of looks cool when you can see through the pages. I don't know, but yeah, these are just the pens that I have. And that's all that I have in my bullet journal did you guys like this video if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up and let me know if you did if you didn't just give me your feedback i want to see if you guys like bullet journal videos also comment down below if you have a bullet journal and i will see you guys in my next video bye